You ready for this in the back mm -hmm. seat? Here we go. Hang on tight. <laughs> All right. First impression behind the wheel of the car is that it looks and feels a lot like a Model S, but your perspective is higher. You've got a better visibility, especially thanks to the panoramic windscreen, which goes all the way up over your head and then some. Performance of the car feels very good. Ludicrous mode feels very good indeed. 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. That's just four tenths of a second slower than the Model S and very quick for a car of this size. Even the slower cars will do 0 to 60 in under four seconds, which is absolutely unheard of in this category of car. It handles very well as well. Not quite as well as the Model S, but again, compared to other SUVs, it feels really great on the road, especially going through the twisty bits. So the basic idea is that the doors open really wide and high, so if you need to put someone in a child seat, for example, you can reach in here really easily without having to duck down or tuck behind seats. And it's actually nice and easy to, uh, to get in the seat back here. Uh, the seat's pushed up kind of far, but I can move it back. The seats are mounted on central pillars, which makes them easier to get in and out. There's also room underneath the seat so you can run some packages behind. And when you're ready to go, just push this button and after the beep, the doors start to come down just that easily. Now, in case you're worried about these doors hitting the roof of your parking garage or that kind of thing, there are ultrasonic sensors up there, much like a parking sensor. They'll detect if there's anything above that'll keep the door from opening. The doors will always open to some degree, so you can always kind of sneak out, uh, but they will at least not run into your ceiling, which is a good thing. At tonight's event, the first five lucky Model X owners will take home their SUVs. Right now, Tesla's only selling the Signature Edition, starting at a whopping $132,000. The lower cost model, we're going to have to wait for that. And we're going to have to be waiting a long time before you and I can buy one, too. They've got some 30,000 pre-orders to get through before anybody will be able to go into a store and buy one. But right now, it's a great start. The car drives great. It feels great. It's really high, and it's a step forward. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of these on the road. Well, the headroom isn't so great, but uh, otherwise, kind of cozy back here. Certainly better than the uh, station wagon my parents had when I was a kid.